in your own words. People say that to you. You know, you know when you hear that a lot in a classroom or in a courtroom, they'll say to you, tell us in your own words. <laughs> Do you have your own words? Liam Poro admits to pulling out of negotiations with Devin Haney and moving on. Let's talk. Straighter. Yep. Not yep. a roundhouse yep. right here. And that's what we've been talking about. The straight shot. It's exactly. the one where he gets leverage on it. I don't want to kill Pull somebody back for a, a little bit. Seconds. Nah, I want a body on my record. Now, I want to see you fight motherfuckers. I do. All right? I'm with you. I'm with you. As long as as long as you're trying to fight the great, that you're, or the, the, the best competition. Liam, when after like through July, August, there was a lot of talk around this Devin Haney sort of thing. I just sort of wanted to get that out of the way because obviously Devin Haney's a big name. I know he's someone that you respect. You've sparred before, but tell the fans on where that sort of went down. You know what I mean? There was a little bit of Twitter back and forth. You sort of spoke about him. He actually spoke about you. I feel it's still a fight that could happen, but what sort of happened there? Because he's he's a free agent with Devin Haney Promotions. I know he's done a bit of work with Eddie. You're all with Matchroom and Under the Zone. How close did that fight get to being made? Um, look, I uh... I believe a lot of it's talking to you just get a contract signed. You know, you know how it is in boxing. Try to sell fights. There's a lot of back and forth banner. But um, look, he called me out. I responded straight away. Like I said, I'll fight anyone. I've wanted that fight for a long time. And um, we heard it. You've seen it. You've seen that he out, I outpriced himself for that fight. <laughs> <laughs> Asked him for silly money. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? He doesn't. He doesn't bring a belt to the table. So um. Did I stutter? <laughs> Look, we just moved on. You know, we, we could tell he wasn't serious about it. So um, yeah, we just moved on. On to our mandatory call that and and yeah, so. Uh, uh, see, that's you. That's you right there. I see this show shit. Smell that. That's you. Well, there you have it. The man said Devin Haney priced himself out, so he moved on. Now, I, 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 I want to say this all the time, um, but it just, it doesn't come out like it should. Devin Haney has flaws. A very big flaw that Devin has. I'm going to tell you guys right now. And I shouldn't be. But I'm going to tell you. He has a big heart. And he thinks people are good. In general. In general, Devin thinks people are good. And they're not. He sparred with this dude, Liam Paro. He broke Liam Paro's face. The reason why Liam Paro had to postpone one of his fights is because Devin broke his face. That's a fact. And I, I have the proof. But, you know, Devin don't like putting stuff out there. He, oh, it's just boxers. You know, we're just, just these things happen in sparring. So, you know, he doesn't want to put that stuff out. He doesn't want to down people. He don't want to degrade people. He's a good dude. And he just wants to do right by people, man. The problem is nobody wants to do right by him. That's the problem. The problem is he's the only one that wants to do right in the situation. The rest of these people will use his name and they'll use him for their advantage in a heartbeat, which is exactly what Liam Paro did. That's exactly what he did. This man's about to fight Richard Hitchens in Puerto Rico. Which one of those guys are Puerto Rican? Now, I want everybody to understand Devin was going to fight Liam Paro in Australia. So for this guy to say Devin don't got a belt and, and Devin don't bring nothing to the table. What does Richard Hitchens bring to the table? Absolutely nothing. So if you were going to fight Devin 
in Australia. Why don't you fight Richard Hitchens in Australia? Now, later on in this interview, he goes on to say the reason why he's fighting Richard Hitchens in Puerto Rico is because there was a card already there. Well, if there was a card already there, why, did, why weren't you fighting Devin in Puerto Rico? If there was a card already there. Why weren't you fighting Devin? I'll tell you why. Because Devin is a bigger name than you and Richard Hitchens and everybody else at 140. He's the biggest name at 140, which is why you wanted to bring him to Australia to fight you for your belt in a voluntary. Yeah, you wanted to do that simply because you knew the amount of money that Devin brings with him to Australia. Richard Hitchens don't bring that. You knew bringing Devin Haney to Australia, you can get the government to pay you some bread the same way that they did for George Cambosis. Richard Hitchens doesn't do that. So instead of bringing Devin to Australia, I mean Richard Hitchens to Australia, since he don't bring nothing that Devin brings, you'll just fight on any card, doesn't matter, willy-nilly. You're the main event of this card in Puerto Rico. They're not coming there for you. They're coming there for Pitifo. They don't give a fuck about you. Uh, Pitufo, they don't they don't care about you. Henry LeBron and Puti and uh Chris Diaz. They don't give a fuck about you. You're not Puerto Rican. They don't give a fuck about Richard Hitchens. He's not Puerto Rican, man. They don't give a fuck about neither one of y'all. Neither one of you, both of you guys are irrelevant to Puerto Rico. Well, you're irrelevant. The only thing you got is that you beat Subriamatis in Puerto Rico, so they'll fuck around and boo you. You didn't win nobody over. They'll fuck around and boo your ass. Like, bro, you're you bring absolutely nothing to the table, bro. Nothing. Nothing, bro. You bring nothing. Devin is the draw. You're not the draw. You're not a draw. You're Devin's sparring partner. You're a guy he broke his face in sparring. You're a guy who, who he bigs up. Talks highly of you. And then you just go and straight lie. Straight lie. Oh, he priced himself out. No, he didn't. He is the A-side, bro. Give a damn what you guys say. Oh, no. No, he ain't the A-side. He's not the champion. That don't mean anything. That doesn't mean anything. It doesn't mean anything. That means absolutely nothing. Devin is the A-side to Liam Paro. It's up to Devin to allow Liam Paro to be the A-side. It's up to Devin that. Yeah. Oh no, that's not how it works. That's exactly how it works. Because Javante Tank Davis can allow anybody to be the A-side if he wants to. The same way Errol Spence allowed Terrence Crawford to be the A-side. Yeah, Tank Davis right now can say, well, Lamont Roach, uh, you're doing me a favor. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to come out first. He'll never do that. <laughs> it's not going to change his money. It's not going to change how much money he makes. And it ain't going to change the outcome of that fight. But he won't do it. See, Devin can do that. Devin would do that. Devin has done that. So it's not like he can or would. He has. Absolutely has. He was the ace of the reach of poor Gray. He walked out first. Same thing with George Cambosis. But it, it is what it is. Uh, for Liam Paro to try to use Devin Haney's name and talk about how Devin priced himself. Priced himself out for what? Who are you? Devin is, uh, was undisputed already, bro. He's already in the Hall of Fame. Everything at this point forward is, is big fights and big money fights. Not unifications and undisputed unless it's a big fight and a big money fight. If it's not a big fight and a big, a big, a big money fight, a big fight itself or a big money fight, then no, who the fuck are you? Who are you, bro? Do you, like dead ass serious, who are you? Oh, I'm the IBF champion. So, and what does that mean? I was the WBC champion and the undisputed champion. You're just IBF. Like, stop it, bro. Like, seriously, you guys, y'all run around here and y'all tell me about someone's accolades this and someone's accolades that. And their accolades and their accolades BF and their accolades. You guys did this for years with Errol Spence and Terrence Crawford for years about how it should be 50-50 or, or if anybody, uh, Errol, the Terrence Crawford should be the A-side because he was undisputed. You guys did this for years, years and years. And now when it comes to Devin and fucking Liam fucking Paro, of all people, Liam Paro, Liam fucking Paro. Now, all of a sudden, it's, oh, well, Devin's priced himself out. What happened in the fight with Liam Paro, BF? What happened with Liam Paro? Liam Paro, what happened with Liam Paro? See, they're like, are you guys fucking serious? You guys hate Devin this much? You mean to tell me if Terrence Crawford fought Liam Paro for the IBF title that Terrence Crawford would be the B-side? Is that what you're trying to tell me? 
after telling me that he was the A-side to Errol Spence. And Errol Spence had three belts. He was the A-side to Errol Spence. That's what you guys were telling me. He was the A-side because he was undisputed because of his accolades. Look at his accolades. His accolades. And now you guys hate Devin this much that you guys are telling me that Devin Haney priced himself out of a fucking Liam Paro fight. A fight that he went after in the first place. That he was trying to negotiate. You guys moved on. You said it yourself. You moved on. But somehow that's Devin priced himself. No, that's you trying to save face. So what this is is... People are piling on right now. They're piling on Devin. They're disrespecting Devin, down and integrating, shitting on Devin. It's the it's the thing to catapult yourself because he's the face of boxing. Whether y'all like it or not, y'all keep using this fucking name. Uh, so he's the face of boxing. You guys know it. You know what to do when it's the face of boxing. You use his name to sell your fights. So you use Devin. Say, oh, Devin ducked me. Devin priced himself out. So because of that, I, I, I'm fighting Richard Hitchens. Richard Hitchens, the guy who refused to fight Super Yamatis. That Richard Hitchens, the guy, the guy who said if he fights for a belt, it's going to be for the WBC because he don't he don't want to do that 10 pound uh rehydration. He don't want to do that 10 pound uh 10 pound weigh in. That 10 pound weigh in isn't fair and he don't want to do it. Yet this is the same guy that's about to fight for the same IBF title. No, he just didn't want to fight Super Yamatis because he knew he would get murdered. He knew he would get unalived. He knew he knew Subedia Matisse would beat the dog. He knew he knew he would get destroyed. He knew it. So then he starts making excuses. Oh man, this IBF, the IBF man, this ten pound thing. I don't, I don't really. Well, I'd rather fight for the WBC. But you never dropped out of the IBF. You could have. You could have told Daryl Peoples, whoever runs the IBF, or rest of them dudes in the IBF. Hey man, I no longer want to want to compete in the in the sanctioned body. But you never did. You got on social media and said, oh, this is that. Oh, I'm not this 10 pounds. I don't want to do that. That's messed up for the sport of boxing. And then you guys are the same ones out here shitting on Devin. Talk about, oh, Devin weighed so much when he fought Regis Porgray. Devin weighed so much, which is a goddamn lie because I was there. Did y'all keep making up these goddamn lies? Oh, man, he, he, was, he was so big. He was big. No, he wasn't. I was there. What are you talking about? But yet again, Richard Hitchison is talking about, oh, well, uh, 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 well I'll just wait, man. I don't want to do that 10-pound weight. I'd rather fight the WBC. I'd rather fight for a WBC because Devin was the WBC champion. So you'd rather fight for the WBC because Devin was the WBC champion. Well, why you don't want to fight there now? What about uh, Pueyo? The winner of Pueyo, Gary Antoine. Oh, you don't want to fight the winner of Pueyo, Gary Antoine? Because if Gary Antoine wins, he will dog you. He will dog you if Puyo wins he outboxes you itching since you're not that good now the crazy part about this scenario is you both of you guys Leon Paro who is not that good and Richard Hitches who is not that good are fighting in Puerto Rico as a main event in Puerto Rico using Devin Haney's name watch how many times they use it watch how many times they ask this dude questions about Devin Haney watch oh what about Devin what about Devin what about Devin to promote your fight Mark my words. They're going to constantly ask, well, you know, we wanted to fight Devin, but he priced himself out. Oh, well, you know, Devin was the fight that we was trying to do, but, you know, Devin didn't want it. Oh, yeah, well, you know, this is a, it's our mandatory. We're going to get this out of the way. And then after that, we're going to go after Devin. That's a fight down the road. Watch how many times they use his name. Watch. Just watch, man. To build this fight, they would use Devin Haney's name over and over and over again. They never wanted to fight Devin because they knew what Devin, Devin beat the brakes off this man. In sparring, busted him all up, beat him badly, bro, badly, and this is just sparring. Beat the brakes off this man, broke his fucking eye socket with sparring gloves. But you know, Devin can't punch. Though. He, he's not a puncher. He's not the he, Devin Haney broke his eye socket. The reason why his fight was postponed is because Devin broke his eye. Devin is the one that did that to him. That's the reason why his fight was postponed. But whatever. You guys are going to say whatever y'all want and claim whatever y'all want to claim. And that's fine. That's fine. Rock on. It doesn't doesn't do nothing over here. You know what I'm saying? No, do nothing over here. Y'all just keep on riding and keep on rocking. This man trying to use Devin Haney and try to say Devin uh, price himself out. But then say you moved on. Why didn't you negotiate? Why didn't you negotiate? If, you, if Devin gave you a price, why didn't you... 
go low, he go high, y'all meet in the middle. Why did you do that? Why didn't you give him two flat fees and then a percentage? Oh, you couldn't do none of that, right? You couldn't do none of that. But you wanted him to go to Australia to fight you so you can make your biggest bag. But you didn't want to negotiate with him. That's, that's what we're doing. It's the crazy thing in the world because if Devin was to do this, the whole world will stop. Oh, Devin's ducking. He's avoiding. Oh, my God. What about Shakur? Shakur, just give Shakur Shakur's accolades. That's the biggest fight for both of you guys. Devin versus Liam Paro is not the biggest fight for Devin Haney. It is the biggest fight for Liam Paro. Absolutely. Devin's doing you a favor. You're trying to get what Devin already had. You're trying to get what where he's already that's behind him. It's already past him. And you're trying to get that. He's lapped you already. And you're talking about he priced himself out. No, he was trying to negotiate with you. Y'all tried to lowball him. So he told you to kick Roxton. Fuck it. If y'all don't really if you don't really want to fight me, then alright, cool. Y'all didn't want to negotiate at all. No, you wanted to milk that man. You wanted to get your biggest bag off of his back, off of his name, and fight him in Australia. But since you couldn't do that, you're fighting a Mr. Popo, a dude who doesn't speak one drop of Puerto Rican. You're uh, a Spanish. You're fighting this man in Puerto Rico. Pathetic. Pathetic. And then got the audacity to talk about we moved on because he priced himself out. So we moved on. And you guys are cool with that. But if Devin told Shakur, say, oh, man, Shakur Stevenson priced himself out. So we moved on. No. Oh, no, you're ducking. No, just give him what he wants. Oh, no, no, no. Just wait. Is it? How come Liam Paro don't have to wait? How come Liam Paro don't have to give Devin what he wants? That's Liam Paro's biggest fight. Liam's, not Devin's. That is Liam Paro's biggest fight. That is, that Devin Haney on Liam Paro's on resume is the biggest name on his resume. So how come y'all don't have the same energy for Liam Paro that y'all had for Devin when it came to Shakur Stevenson? How come y'all don't have the same energy? I'll tell you why. Because y'all are haters. It was There was nothing to do with Liam Paro. You don't care about Liam Paro. You don't care about Shakur. You care about Devin. You hate Devin. You hate Bill. Because they're the face of boxing. And you hate it. No, no, he's not. No, no, he's the face of uh, well, Ryan Garcia. You yeah, know, but he's the face of Tank Dale. No, he's uh, the Canelo. Yeah, that's that, y'all because you hate Devin. Devin, without Devin's name in this sport, this sport is dry as a bitch. It's dry as fuck. Because Deontay Wilder's name is not popping in the sport. Errol Spence's name is not popping in the sport. Devin Haney is holding it down. Y'all can tell yourself whatever lie y'all fucking want to. He's not fighting no fucking Lamont Roaches. Whatever. BFTV, man. Shout out to the mighty LDBC. And I'm out. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, share, subscribe to my Patreon. And if you feel like supporting me, please support me in the PayPal or the Cash App.